how do you prepare yourself mentally before a race, especially the week before a race? Let's discuss. Hey, how's it going? I'm Will from Iron Will Multisport Australia, your place to find tips, tricks, and experience in triathlon, multi-sport, and endurance events and training. I have my first Ironman in just one week, and it is scaring the bejesus out of me. Though as per any big event, being nervous is completely normal. And I have been very fortunate to be a part of lots of events throughout my life. And regardless of the event, I always feel nervous. So whether that's performing at the Opera House all the way down to a local park run, I'll feel some degree of nervousness. And the key thing is to not let the nerves get the best of you. You've put in all this prep, you put in all this time, and if you pull out now, that will have been for possibly nothing. So it takes a lot of mental strength, a lot of iron will, to push through those nerves and achieve what you started. How can you push through those nerves and mentally prepare yourself for race day? First of all, everyone is different. So some methods will work for some people, but not work for others. One of the biggest things for me is to remind yourself. So remind yourself why you are doing what you're doing. Why are you doing this event? And you can then bring back that sort of boost of motivation and bring back the thought of, I want to achieve this because. Another great thing is to try and look back. So you want to look back at your past and see how far you have come. A lot of people get caught up in what's ahead of them. But when you look back and see what you've overcome to get there, you can really put it in perspective that you have come a long way. You've done amazing work so far. And this last little bit, it's really not that bad. One thing you can also do is to remove yourself from the situation just in general for a little bit. Take a little bit of a short break, a short holiday. In my case, at the moment, I'm actually taking a little short holiday to New Zealand to visit family. So I'm here in Waikanae, which is on the Kapiti Coast, and doing training in a new area, getting yourself removed from your normal situation. Having that little bit of a break allows you to add some contrast to your training. So you can do maybe a local park run. I did this morning the local park run here on the Kapiti Coast park run. And you can enjoy a new place, run to the beach like I have yesterday as well, uh, do a bike ride, go up, do some mountain biking, something like that. Do something different to create contrast within your training. New Zealand is a very beautiful place. Just did a quick run, so far 6k, just to Waikanae Beach. Now for the run back to my granddad's place. Another great thing you can do in the lead up to an event is to allow yourself to relax. Uh, you can do things that uh, will relax you, such as, I mean, if you're masochistic, you can go and get a massage. It may hurt for a little bit, but it will ultimately relax you. And it will also be very beneficial for your muscles. You can grab a beer, just don't grab too many. Take a breath, just sit down, enjoy the scenery, look at the beach like I have this morning, or even do some meditation. Do whatever it is that can help you to relax especially as you're getting really close to the event, try to keep things as familiar as possible. Now, when you're traveling for an event, such as an Ironman, you're going interstate, into city, into country, it can be hard to keep things normal. So try and do as much as you can to normalize things. Keep things as familiar as possible. Try and have meals that are similar to what you'd have when you're training at home. Uh, try and do things that are familiar to what you do when you're at home. The more familiar you can do things, the more calm you will be in general. Whew, it's getting a bit brisk. It's a bit cold over here. Another thing that I've heard, and I haven't actually really used it so far, but I might give it a go in the future, is to give yourself some sort of a performance persona. So this is another persona that you can pretend to be, and that person is confident, that person knows what they're doing, that person doesn't let things get in their way. So you can, as you're coming up to a race, if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling nervous, if you're feeling stressed, become that other person or pretend you are that other person and that other person doesn't become anxious. That other person doesn't become stressed. And then when you become that person, you take on their personality and you can push through and achieve quite a bit more. I don't know, John Smith. So when I become John Smith, I become someone who is unstoppable, who can achieve anything. I'm John Smith. I can do an Iron Man with my eyes closed. Something that I do as much as possible though is to amend my body language. 
when you lead with the body, your mind will follow. So force yourself to smile, walk confidently, have a laugh. And when you do those things, when you lead with the, the body, your mind will start to become more confident. It will be start to become happier. You'll let those stresses melt away. Another great thing is to let go of expectations. So you have a goal of completing whatever event it is that you're going to be completing. For me, I have a goal of completing the Ironman, but I'm not going to be focusing on that goal. I'm going to be focusing on the process that I need to do to achieve that goal. Many people have a goal of completing the Ironman. Not every person is going to complete the Ironman. It's only those that have an appropriate process put in place that allows them to achieve that goal. So what you want to do is to focus on what you're going to do on the day. How are you going to get through the swim? How are you going to get through the bike? How are you going to get through the run? What nutrition are you going to, are you going to take in? Focus on what you're going to do on the day and focus on getting yourself through each part in turn and you will get yourself to the goal naturally. Something else you can do, which I try and do as often as possible, and this removes barriers for lots of people, is to prepare things early. So set out your gear nice and early. Make a checklist. Make sure that you've got everything prepared so that on the day you can't turn around and think, oh no, I've forgotten my goggles, I can't do the Iron Man. Another great thing to remember is to enjoy yourself. You've put in all the hard work, you've put in the sweat, blood and tears over your training. So now it's race week or it's event week or whatever it is. You can't really do too much more in that last week, in the last few days before the race. So try not to worry about it. And that's something I've tried to do as much as possible throughout my life. No matter what happens, just enjoy it. If something goes wrong, laugh, find something funny and enjoy myself. For the most part, races are mind over matter. You can push yourself a lot further than you think. Allow yourself to let mind push yourself over matter. Your body has a natural instinct to save yourself, but you need to push yourself past that because you know that you can do it. You know that you can do it. You just need to push yourself that little bit harder and you will achieve it. How do you mentally prepare yourself for race day? Let us know in the comments section down below. To check out my video about Mind Over Matter, I'll leave a link up here. If you want triathlon content every week from here in today in New Zealand, but normally Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button. I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.